What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Let's move on to a word problem. So we have an open top box is made from a 16 centimeter by 12 centimeter cardboard by cutting congruent squares from each corner and folding up the sides. Find the dimensions of the squares to create a box with a volume of 192 centimeters cubed. Okay, so this is the cardboard right here, and we're going to be cutting out squares from each corner. Congruent squares, meaning the same squares. So all the squares are going to have, let's say, a length x. All right, so we're going to cut out these squares from the corner. So the way it's going to look now is like this. And then what we're going to do after we cut out those squares is we're going to fold up each of these sides to create a box. And once we make the box, it's going to look something like this. So if you think about it, the height of the box is basically going to be x, right? Because it's going to be the same length as those sides that we fold up. What about the base? What's the dimensions of the width and the length going to be? Well, the base here, let me draw it in, at the bottom there, is basically the same as this here. if that makes sense, right? Because after we fold those sides up, this is all that's left on the bottom. And the length of the total box initially was 16 centimeters. So what's the length here going to be? Well, it's going to be 16 minus these two x values because we're folding them up. So all we're, uh, all we're left here for the length is 16 minus 2x. So that's going to be the length of the box here. And then same thing here. The length from here to here was 12, the original cardboard. And then when we cut those sides out that have length x, all we're left with here is 12 minus 2x. So this part here is going to be 12 minus 2x. So we have that box here, and we're told that the box has a volume of 192 centimeters cubed. And we know the volume of a rectangular box is what? Length times width times height. So 192 then has to equal the length times the width times the height. Now I'm going to put the height first here. So I'm going to do height just to make it look nicer, times the width, which is 12 minus 2x, times the length, which is 16 minus 2x. And now notice that we have an equation. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to expand that right side, bring this 192 over, and then solve a polynomial equation. So first taking these two brackets here, 12 minus 2x, 16 minus 2x, foiling them out, you end up getting 192 minus 56x plus 4x squared. And now what we can do is we can distribute this x inside the bracket. So we'd end up with 192x minus 56x squared plus 4x cubed. And we still have this 192 on the left side, but let's just bring it over. So we'll be left with 0 on the left side. And this positive 192 becomes 192 over here. And then taking that last line we wrote and then rearranging it nicer so we have it from the highest degree to the lowest, we end up with 0 equaling 4x cubed minus 56x squared plus 192x minus 192. And now notice we just have a simple polynomial equation to solve. So what we have to do is we now have to factor this right side to get potential x values that are solutions to this equation. So with factoring, first thing you check, can you take anything out? And notice that we can't take any variables out because of this constant, but we can take out a 4. right? So if we take out a 4 from everything, we'll have x cubed minus 14x squared 192x divided by 4 gives us 48x. And then uh, 192 divided by 4 just gives us 48. Right, so now we're just left with factoring this cubic here. So it's a lot nicer to factor this cubic than this original. 
Now we can check if we can factor this by grouping, but notice if we take out an x squared from here, we'll be left with x minus 14 in the brackets. If we take out a 48 from here, we'll be left with x minus 1. So by grouping won't work, unfortunately. So what we have to do is we have to use the factor theorem. We have to plug in plus 1 for all the x's here, minus 1, minus 2, plus 2, etc., etc., until we get a value of 0. So if we plug in plus 1 here, that won't give us 0. Negative 1 won't give us 0. Negative 2 won't give us 0. But plus 2, if we plug it in for all the x values, it will give us 0. So that means that we know that x minus 2 is a factor, right, by the factor theorem. So now what we have to do is we have to take this cubic function here and we have to divide x minus 2 into it. So we'll have x minus 2 as the, um, you know what, let me give myself some more room here. So x minus 2 as the divisor and then this cubic function x cubed minus 14x squared plus 48x minus 48 as the dividend and we can just perform long division or synthetic division as well because this is a linear divisor. So taking the dividend and then dividing it by that factor, the divisor x minus 2, doing the long division you end up getting x squared minus 12x plus 24 as the quotient. So going back over here, we basically took this uh, cubic function, split it up into x minus 2, and x squared minus 12x plus 24, right? So we know that one of the solutions for this equation is going to be x is equal to 2. Now what about this quadratic left here in the bracket? Well, if you try to factor it, it actually won't factor smoothly. So what we're going to have to do with this quadratic to find the roots of it is we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. And when you end up doing the quadratic formula on the side with this quadratic here, you end up getting x values of 2.54 and 9.46. So notice how this polynomial equation is going to have three solutions. x equals 2, and then from this one there's going to be two solutions, x equals 2.54, and x equals 9.46. But now what we have to do is we have to take these three solutions and see if they actually work in the word problem. And the way you do that is you take each of these x values and plug them into the expressions for the dimensions of the box and see if these x values will give you any negatives. So notice if we plug in 2 for all the x values here, we won't get any negative dimensions. So 2 is a possible solution. If we plug in 2.54 for x for all of the uh, dimensions, so 16 minus 2 times 2.54, 12 minus 2 times 2.54, and then 2.54 here, none of those will be negative. And then if we plug in 9.46 for the x values here, notice how these two will give us negative sides, and that's not possible to have. So we know 9.46, even though it's a solution for this polynomial equation, it's not a legit solution for the word problem that we are dealing with. So our final answer are these two values. So the dimensions of the squares to be cut out can either be 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters or 2.4 centimeters by 2.4 or 2.54 centimeters rather, right? Because remember what x represents. x represents, if you look back on the original diagram, the dimensions of the squares that we cut out from the corners, and that's what they're asking for, the dimensions of those squares. So it's just the x values. Sometimes they'll ask you for the dimensions of the box that's created. So all you would do then is you would take, there would actually be two sets of dimensions. So if x is two, you just plug in 2 for all the dimensions, so the height would be 2, and then the width would be 12 minus 2 times 2, which would be 8, and then 16 minus 2 times 2 would give you 12 for the length. 
So those would be the dimensions of the box. That's one uh, possible solution. Another is if you plug in 2.54, right? For all the X values, you get another set of dimensions that give you that same volume. Um, but they're not asking for the dimension of the box. They're asking for the dimension of the squares. However, sometimes they will ask you for the dimensions of the box. So just be aware of that.